collateral damage. Hey guys, this is Tide Fly here, and today I'm just tired. And right now, today, I'm reviewing one of the good movies. They have no Michael Bay in there, but thank goodness. But because there's no Michael Bay in there, but thank goodness. Because I liked it, and they did pretty well. And it was, and it was. Transformers 1. Now, Transformers 1, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed it, mostly. I did enjoy it. Now, now then, I enjoyed it because in the beginning, well, in the beginning, Orion Pax, a.k.a. Optimus Prime, because he was really good. Because he wants to know about the matrix of leadership. Even though I really like him, though. Because before D-16, a.k.a. again, <laughs> Megatron. Because, well, I gotta say, be, because before there were enemies, they were like brothers. Because one time they have the matrix... I really like their their like friends because they watch their backs because I really like it. But one time, the really I like there's Alita. I like it. Alita, she she was a voice of Scarlett Johansson and then Orion Pax as Optimus Prime. He was the voice of Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. It, he was, he was perfect, but I thought Peter Cullen, Peter, you know, Peter Cullen was going to be in this one, but no, this, but this one's different. You know what I'm talking about, but now this one's different, but you know what I'm talking about, right? But Chris Hemsworth, the guy he played Thor, are you kidding? You know what I mean? But I watched the movie. It was good. But I really don't like Sentinel Prime was evil. I mean, who really don't like? But you really want is the Matrix of Leadership. The Matrix of Leadership. You really want it so bad. Because, let me tell you something. The Matrix of Leadership, well, really, it has the power of the Primes. It has all the power of the Primes. Everything of the Primes. Just like I was watching the original, the original movie, Transformers the movie, not the Michael Bay, the, the original movie. You know what I'm talking about. Like that one time that um, Optimus Prime died, and then he holds the matrix of leadership, and then he died. Because you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know what I'm saying. But Woody, can you play the... Until that day. Till all are one. Thank you, Woody. Thank you. <clears throat> now, that's, that's why what happens. 
in the original Transformers movie. But it just happens. But on Transformers 1, it's different. But now, the only opinion I really like is not uh, is the fights. The old fights is really good. The I really liked it so bad. They did it pretty good. Because the only thing I really do like is that is only that is the matrix of leadership orion pax became the legend optimus prime <laughs> that's right optimus prime the leader of the autobots and i really like how he became optimus prime because that's my favorite part because he has the matrix of leadership and now and now Megatron and Optimus Prime are enemies now. Because the only reason I really liked it is the battles and the fight scenes. That is really like. I really liked it. And they did a perfect job. Because I really liked it. And there is an I mean Optimus Prime axe. That was an unbelievable. The Matrix has the power of the the axe. And I'm like, oh, wow. I mean, Optimus Prime was really good. I mean, he has he has most power of the Matrix. He has, he's the same Optimus Prime. Just like the other cartoons and movies. Because he could take down any Decepticons. Because he's really good. And he, and he knows he could do that. Just like, just like the movie Thor. But it's different. But... I really liked it though. It was good. And then the ending, it was impressive. And I really liked it with B and um Alita and and um D16 and Orion Pax. That was impressive with the Avengers. I, I mean <laughs> I mean I mean <laughs> I mean with I mean with the Matrix and um the transformed vehicles, and uh, most importantly, most importantly, destroying Sentinel Prime, which is fun. But I'm gonna give this one a eight out of ten because the only reason why Sentinel Prime evil. I mean that's fine because just like from the video games. Because Megatron, I, I play as Megatron and Soundwave too. I take down Sentinel, Sentinel Prime easy. But I took down Soundwave as Bumblebee and Sideswipe and um, Optimus Prime. So anyway, I liked it. Not that bad. The movie, really good. Just like they did from the series and others. So I liked it. So that's for my review of Transformers 1. So make sure you want to watch it. It's on Paramount Plus, by the way. And um, if, you have, if you haven't watched the other Transformers movies, go on Paramount Plus. It's on there. So want to be sure. And that's all for now. Make sure you click the subscribe button and click that bell notification and link description below. So that's all for now. This is Time Fly here, and peace out, everyone, and take care. Beans. Here, all are truly Autobots. This message is a warning to all Quintessons. If you dare return to Cybertron, the Autobots will be waiting. I will be waiting. I am Optimus Prime.